I can only imagine that the name of this movie is talking to me. Chup, chup, Jebby. I got a funny feeling. Hello, people. Just you and me. Again, I'm Jabby Kawe, and you are you. Beautiful and alive watching this, so that's good. If you are curious about what this is about me, too, I have no idea what we're in for. Choo! Official trailer, Sunny Deal, Dulkir Salman, Shreya Dahwanthari, and Pooja Bhatt. I'm trying my best to get those H's in, man. Those are it's very tough. And uh, I guess R. Balki, or Balki is the director, is uh, written and directed by... Are bulky. If you guys haven't already, do me a big, big favor. Hit that uh, subscribe button thing, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. And uh, if, if you're not, just click it three times. It really tells YouTube that, uh, you know. So, okay, here we go. Let's jump into this. Wait, wait, wait. So we have got a new kind of a serial killer. Who is giving the star to star? The critic's critic. Whoa. Uh, do those symbols have a different meaning in India? Because to me they look like the Jewish star. A film is a director's baby. You know, I thought that that light that came in was a film light of some kind. There, you, you see it in there, in the right side. I looked. I was like, oh, maybe that's a, like a prison light that I didn't understand. A film is a director's baby. Kisi ke bache ka rape kaise kar sakta hai yar? Zinda feel karne ke liye cinema chahiye. Guru Dad, kya Guru Dad? Kagas ke pool. For the best movie experience, mobile phones or kuch critics. That's different. Sir, jo tera chakrai ya dil duba jai, aaja pyare pas hamare kahe ghabrai, kahe ghabrai. That's different. That is a, oh, we got a teaser here too. Let's check this out. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Guru ke birthday, ke phool. Ke phool ko us waqt kiya tha, na? <laughs> Okay, so you have a uh, you have a director who's bent out of shape, I guess, because his film was panned by by critics. This is fascinating. Okay, so I mean, there have been many, many movies, you know, that I've seen growing up that are about making movies, and every once in a while, I guess you get you know a different kind of story that deals with filmmakers and what have you. There was a South Indian one that. It was remade by Akshay Kumar. I forgot what it's called. That was dealing with like filming this mafia boss and turning his life into a movie. And he was like, actually like playing himself in the movie and became like a big joke. That's a totally different thing. But there's a film from the States called Two Days in the Valley. I saw it when I was a kid. That's the last movie I could think of that was like sort of talking about making movies and it was talking about critics and awards and stuff like that. And there was like murder and mystery and all that stuff. So this is specifically about a disgruntled director whose film 
was not received well and it just tears them apart. It's a fascinating thing. Like, okay, so very recently we had Lal Singh Chada, right? Total, this is, I, it's a totally different thing. But uh, I bring it up because Amir Khan was away from the industry for a while, right? This was his comeback film. You saw, everybody saw what happened. I don't have to go into it. But so much, not just from him, but from everyone involved in that movie, so much love and time and effort was put into that film, irrespective of how you feel about it. You cannot deny that a lot of effort was put into it. Atul Kulkarni, I think, was shopping that story for like 20 years or something like that. You can imagine how much heart went into this for it to just be denied at the finish line because of reasons. Tarsim Singh, I believe is his last name. Tarsim made a movie called The Fall. He spent four years of his life on that movie. And me and like a handful of people have seen his movie. I love it but only a few people have seen it. So it's just interesting when you can you, you you expend so much of yourself on this thing and all you want is for it to be appreciated and it's hated and it and it like almost like it's your child being torn up like being they use the word molested. I understand that feeling as someone who makes videos that I'm not going to go to these kinds of extremes obviously obs 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 but uh you know you you spend so much effort and so much of yourself on this thing that you craft and you raise like a child only for it to be torn to bits and criticized and all that it kind of i can see why it would make you feel so crazy and then to take that idea turn it into a story about someone who's like murdering people to get back at the at those who are you know taking bribes and whatnot in the industry i mean I, I think that's what was inferred here right that's something i mean i feel like this might be the perfect film for right now because it's sort of that f you to the industry in a way which is still ironic considering it's being made by filmmakers because like I, I think that there's this collective energy right now from people I, i'm not gonna say most indian people but like there's obviously a a substantial enough subsection of indians who are very very upset with bollywood are very anti-Bollywood right now. Anti, uh, what do you call it? Big corporate film industries. This is like sort of the middle finger to that in a way, right? It's got the laurels and the stars and everything. With the blood all over it. Oh, Lord. And you just want them to shut up. That's the thing. It's like, um, okay, so Monica Lewinsky, after that whole thing with... If you don't know who Monica Lewinsky is, I'm not going to explain it because YouTube will demonetize me. But uh, it's, it's a scandal with the U.S. president. After that, she became a joke for 20 years. And I'm pretty sure after... It, it probably drove her a little nuts. And she was just like, choop! You know? Shut up! Just shut up! Just shut up! You know? After a while... There was this famous story about a, a lady who got coffee from McDonald's. Still related. There's this story about a lady who got coffee from McDonald's. She put the coffee between her thighs and it like spilled or something. The coffee was so hot, she got third degree burns. I might be misquoting the story a little bit, but the coffee did not need to be that hot that it was giving her third degree burns. It was like really, really bad burns. Okay. The story wasn't that McDonald's overcooked the coffee. The story was this lady had the audacity to try to sue McDonald's for spilling coffee on herself. That was the story. And she died with that being the story. And it did, the, the, her name didn't get cleared until well after she died. Uh, she was an older lady. Not to bring your day down or your evening or whatever it is that you're watching this. I'm just saying like that lady had to deal with being a joke all over TV and in the newspapers and, and the internet for a long time until she died. That was when she got rest. And I'm pretty sure at some point she must have shouted, Joop! Hopefully I shocked you just as much as I got shocked by this teaser uh, with my exclaiming just now. So you guys let me know what you think about this teaser and this trailer. I think it's quite interesting. It's a different kind of movie. I'm, not, You know, I, ha I always feel a little bit funny about movies, talking about making movies in some way. But this is definitely a different take. This is totally different. At the center of it, though, you have Shra Puja. What was her name here? Oh, by the way, that, that little, like, almost like a bird sound. It's un uncomfortable, unsettling, irritating, if you will, but in a good way. Pooja Bot, I think, is the actress that we saw, and she was in the chair. And so, naturally, kind of like the twirly mustache villain, like, you got, you got to have a lady who's at the center of this all, ready to be run over by the, tra uh, by the train on the railroad tracks, right? Her life's on the line. Uh, anyways, this is interesting. I, I, that's all. Okay, I won't repeat myself anymore. I, I think that this is cool. And I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. That's it for now. I'm Jabby Kuwait. Peace out.